What if I told you that you are surrounded by an entire team and sometimes an army of unseen helpers, some of whom have been with you since birth and all of whom are here in support of you, of your mission, your purpose, and are in service to your greatest good. Well, if you stick with me till the end of this video, I'll explain exactly what I mean by that, who your spirit guides are, how it all works, and why it's so important for you to start getting in contact with them immediately. And I'll give you a step-by-step -step method to do exactly that. So let's go. I'm Delfina, sometimes known as She the Mystic. I'm a healer, mystic, spiritual guide, and soul awakener. And I'm so excited to be sharing this space with you. Thank you so much for being here. And please do me a quick favor, hit the like button on that video, it really helps out my channel. All right, who are your spirit guides? So you've probably heard some things about spirit guides. Guardian angels, maybe you've dabbled with pulling cards or connecting with ascended masters or deities, or perhaps you have a special connection to a certain type of animal, one that constantly shows up wherever you go. Everything I've just named and more falls into the category of spirit guide, which can include guardian angels, who are assigned to you at birth, ancestors you've never met, or those loved ones who have passed on, totem animals, animal guardians and guides, ascended masters such as Lord Maitreya, incarnated avatars such as Jesus, deities from Hinduism, saints from Catholicism. The angelic realm shows up really strongly here as well, specifically the hierarchy of the archangels with um, Archangel Michael being a very prominent figure that shows up as a protector. In addition to all of those, we sometimes have interdimensional beings that come in as helpers to humanity. These are non-incarnated groups, such as the group known as Ra, who was responsible for the channeled material known as the Law of One. And these greater guides affect things on the group mind level, the information of which can sometimes come through one individual who then disperses it to a larger audience. And speaking of interdimensional beings, we of course have to mention extraterrestrial guides and helpers. If you feel like you're from a different star system, then you might have an entire army of ETs who are here for you, guiding you, and filling your realm with cosmic wisdom and knowledge. And if we go even deeper into this whole thing, we can tap into ourselves as our spirit guide, the parts of our consciousness that exist on other planes of existence in past, future, concurrent realities, all of which are happening in unison. And of course, your soul and your higher self are a part of your guidance system. And I want to give honorable mention to your body which is an infinitely complex and incredibly wise mechanism that can definitely serve as a spirit guide. But that's perhaps a topic for another video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. So how do we connect with our spirit guides? How do we communicate with our spirit guides? Whether you're aware of it or not, communication between you and your spirit guides is already happening. It always has been. You've been receiving the messages and then overlooking them or missing them for years. So let's change that. The communication from them comes in different ways and different types of guides communicate through different forms. If we're talking about, let's say, animal spirit guides, they communicate by simply showing up and being themselves, being their true essence. And when you become aware of that true essence, you're able to discern what the message is. I'll use the example of a hummingbird, which usually shows up when you've started to take life too seriously or when you forget about joy. A hummingbird's nature, their existence, is to extract sweetness, extract the nectar of life them showing up in your world, in your vision, is a reminder for you to do the same. Spirit guides can communicate through signs, through visual cues, and definitely through songs. When, for instance, you get a song playing in your head on repeat. Now, I don't mean a song that you just listened to that that's an earworm and got stuck in your head. I mean a song that randomly starts playing in your head. Have you ever experienced that? The song simply appears in your consciousness. Pay attention to the lyrics. Really tune into it. When this happens to me, I use this as an opportunity 
to really extract the deeper levels of the message. I'll listen to the lyrics. I'll ask my guides, okay, what do you want me to know? And I'll sometimes take this further. I'll actually do research on who wrote the song, if I don't know, around when it was written, if there's a backstory to it. And it usually resonates for me somehow when I do that. And it usually answers a question that I've been pondering. I treat it like a game because that's how I view life, as this grand adventure, this great game unfolding. So of course, my spirit guides would send me on a scavenger hunt through the power of music. There are so many ways to communicate with your guides, and one of the most powerful and simplest is the one that I recommend you start with. It's a surefire way to send and receive communication. So I have this step-by-step -step system that I'll share with you now. And if you do this for a while, you'll likely start to incorporate your own methods, you'll add your own touches to it, and you'll definitely become so much more comfortable with the communication. So here is the step-by-step -step spirit guide communication method. First, I'd like you to get a physical journal. You can try to do this with your notes app in your phone, but ideally you'll do this with a physical journal and a physical pen in hand. That part's important. We're gonna call this your special spirit guide communication journal, and that is the only thing you'll use it for. Do, do all of your other journaling somewhere else. Next, you're gonna create a declaration, and you're gonna state out loud that you are now ready and willing to open and strengthen the lines of communication between you and your guides. Craft this statement in your own words and repeat it every night before going to bed. An important aspect to add to this is gratitude. So make sure you thank your guides and express your gratitude and appreciation for their presence and their assistance in your life. Now, right before going to bed, you're gonna state your declaration and ask for assistance with an issue you are currently dealing with. Choose one. In addition to that, write this question, this issue in your special journal and state that you'd like to receive guidance and then outline the parameters. Ask for as many details as possible so that you have clarity, especially if you're just starting out. When you go to bed, you will likely receive communication and signs and messages in the dream realm. And you might remember this, you might not. Either way, when you wake up, the first thing you're going to do is write down anything you, you can recall, write down anything that comes to mind, just grab your pen, pen to paper, and start writing whatever flows. Then thank your guides and invite them to join you on this day. Ask them for their support and guidance throughout the day and for assistance in the manifestation of your greatest good and the greatest good for all concerned. Now, make a note of whatever signs you see throughout the day and repeat this process before you go to bed. You're going to do this for 40 days straight. 40 days is that magical number that causes real transformation. You'll see it repeated in many spiritual disciplines and traditions. This method will give you a really great head start and will establish a strong channel of communication between you and your guides. And once you've brought this into your awareness and worked with it for a little bit, you'll start to see signs all around you. And then you'll start to recognize the difference between the voices of your guides, the voices of wishful thinking, your inner knowing, and all the others. And then this practice will prepare you to go way deeper with spirit guide communication. In an upcoming video, I'll talk about how you can go deeper and specific ways to communicate with specific types of guides and how they can not only empower your daily life and give you messages and guidance, but can truly empower your world-changing purpose and make a reality one that is more kind, compassionate, and full of joy. I'll be answering your questions in the comments, so I'll see you there. And make sure you don't miss this video that was selected just for you.